Hey guys, Fusebox here, and I'm ready to have some fun. I worked late, I'm tired, I'm exhausted. I want to do a guide that's going to be fun. Uh, so I was lucky enough to get Astralon and Licks. I didn't do the whole pull 150 to get a guaranteed Licks. I just got lucky, and after that event, on a blue shard, I pulled her. Uh, hopefully most of you got Astralon. We're going to do them both, and we're going to do this as fast as I can, which is going to be quite a, quite a chore. But here's the thing. Let's, let's jump into what they do alone and together. A1, a two-hitter. That's great. 50% uh, chance when booked. I don't have books because I got all these new legendaries, and how in the world am I supposed to book out a legendary in this game, right? But they are going to be great once they have books. 50% chance to put de decreased defense. <clears throat> if Countess Lix is on the team, she gets an A1 every time he gets an A1. That's absolutely solid. This is a two-hitter. Her A1 is a two-hitter. That's four hits every time he gets to go. So even though they have the wrong affinity, if you're having trouble keeping the shield down on the Fire Knight, we're going to show how they rock for that. The wrong affinity does cause a lot of weak hits, but moving on to the A2. Attacks one enemy will ignore. Increase defense, strengthen, allied protection buffs. This is great, especially like in Arena. People are buffed up. He can get the kill with this move. When he gets the kill, he revives a random ally, puts a shield on him for 20% of their max HP, puts a shield on himself for 20% of his max HP, protecting himself even because he's going to be squishy. You're going to build this guy out for damage. Both of them do amazing damage. You're just going to have to pump him full of attack. Uh, let's move on to his A3. We've got to move through these quick. All right, this removes all buffs from targets under Veil or Perfect Veil. Kind of situational. Then it places a uh, weaken on anybody who did have Veil removed. Then it attacks all enemies. So you do get the attack, the AoE. But people under Veil, like when you're up against Duchess, which we will show in the arena, he removes that Veil and all buffs on them on top of that. Puts weaken onto them, then attacks them. Great the way they ordered that. Uh, he also has a 100% chance when booked of stunning all enemies. That is absolutely ridiculous. It's the best control in this game. 100% chance as long as the accuracy is there to just stun the entire enemy wave. Even a 75% chance. This is amazing. But I plan on booking it out one day. I have one book so far. That's it. His passive fills his turn meter by 3%. That seems small, but every time an ally is hit, this adds up. Uh, it decreases incoming damage by 25% if the attacker's attack is lower than him. So any defensive character you're up against or anybody that just can't match the attack that you pour onto this guy, he's going to take a quarter less damage. It's like having a strength and buff up. Absolutely solid. Uh, it helps keep a squishy glass cannon alive. Love the utility on that. So the only thing on here that matters about pairing him up with Licks is she gets a free A1 every time he does. He puts down decreased defense on his A1, she brings the decrease, uh, the weaken on her A1. It's also a two hitter. Again, every time he goes, you get four hits, then she goes. That's six hits between the two of them. Super cool. So this is a 50% chance to land the weaken. This is great. A three hitter AOE has a 100% chance to slow the entire enemy team and a 100% chance to take their turn meter down. Slowing them, taking their turn meter down, this is amazing wave control right here. Like, absolutely cannot overlook how amazing it is. Plus, it's a three hitter AoE, you gotta love that. If you threw in a stun set, she has an AoE here too. She would actually do some, some serious work with the stun set as well. But since her partner can stun, if you have both, maybe not such a big deal. But anyways, you're gonna build her out for attack either way, so you want a really good stun set. Attacks all enemies, has a 100% chance to block cooldown skills, again amazing in Doom Tower, amazing in Arena, Faction Wars, and it also decreases the cooldowns of all ally skills except for her own. This is great, brings all your, your big hitting moves back around, all your buffs back around. This is actually on the verge of just OP, I love this move. Then. This was this is the one that you pair her up with Astralon. She removes one random debuff from herself and from Astralon every turn. So she's playing kind of like a Doom Priest, only for her and her partner. This is what happens when a Demon Spawn falls in love with one of the Sacred Order. Strange things happen, but this, it only, it only matters if you have the pair, but this is actually really good. I brought these into the Nether Spider. They rock. They help keep each other cleansed. 
they work as my complete offense while I bring three strong supports. And this works even on hard in Doom Tower. We'll show that too. And then she also has this. Fills her turn meter by 5% anytime an ally receives a debuff. Again, speeding her up, making her really move. Um, real quick, I'll show you uh, their builds. You want them... Look, they, she's not rolled up all the way. Uh, she still has a ways to go on attack here and here. She Her accuracy is very minimal right now but I do plan on getting the all I have to do is have silver I just need silver right I'm just like you I'm broke and I need silver total stats she's got lots of critical damage but she does have to push this up I should be able to get around 45 4600 when I roll everything up <clears throat> probably would want about 5,000 attack but I'm trying to build out like 15 heroes at the same time you want good speed you want uh good accuracy this is not great i still have to roll up that banner and then it'll be okay but uh you'll see it playing out well uh i'm out at, there's a couple places i can hit another crit and if i do hit one more crit rate i'm gonna be right about where i want to be so high damage outputs what you want i have a little better build on astralon he's in a savage set which is excellent uh but he's actually lacking in the uh crit damage department because I forced him into a savage set to get the most out of him that I could. But in the end, you want high attack, especially on Astralon, so he takes less damage. Uh, you want good speed. You want, again, good accuracy. I'm pushing it, but we're going to show him off. I'm going to real quick show you something on Masters, too. Generically, in the arena especially, Helm Smasher is the way to go. They do great damage. But I'm going to switch this to War Master because they're great in a lot of other places. And I'm going to go ahead and take them into the Nether Spider and increase my speed even more by doing this. Uh, but either one is viable, just where do you want to use them? Uh, that's really all there is to it. Helm Smasher works out great in Arena, but I am going to make the switch and I'll do it right now. And uh, basically, I'll show you what I got though. I've got crit damage into crit. I want uh, Heart of Glory so that when I have full HP, I'm doing damage, speed up as I kill. This is first hit, hits harder because hopefully we'll kill people. Cycle of violence without books, super important. With books, even better. Um, this this is actually methodical is great because we're going to use so many A1s with these guys. It's just ridiculous. And every time he uses it, it gets stronger and it brings in licks to do the same thing. Uh, I'm going to move Helm Smasher to War Master because when I get up against bosses, their numbers will shine even more. Accuracy uh, and really i just like evil eye i like cycle of magic i like sniper so i'm going to change my one thing and i'll be right back okay so as you can see i swapped over to war master and we're going to have the exact same thing over on licks so here is licks basically exact same thing so let's let's get into some content because my builds you know like i said they still have a ways to go but not like it's a horrible build just not really in game yet um Let's go and let's show how, even though they're both the weak affinity, we could take on the Fire Knight just to show how they tear down the shield. Then we're going to take them into Ice Golem where they're the strong affinity and show how they absolutely wreck and keep each other debuffed. And most importantly, I think they're an amazing pair to bring in the way they self-cleanse and bring in extra A1s against the Nether Spider. We're going into hard mode and we're going to try to beat our time. Let's just try them out. Now here's a Duchess. This could play out well, uh, but this is a nasty team. Man, it's a nasty team with Torben on it. But we're, we're, we're going to go against them. Full auto. We'll slow it down. Full auto. How many people get frozen? Just Astralon. Now, he's the one that has the move that counters everybody being under a perfect veil or a veil. So, it, I kind <clears throat> maybe this plays out better. Having him frozen for a turn... He'll come out and maybe Duchess will have done. Boy, they're 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 taking us, they're getting us down though. Fears everywhere. What are we gonna do? We're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out of this ice block and we're gonna tear somebody apart. That's what we're gonna do. Look look at this. Remove the buffs from the ones that were under continuous heal. Unfortunately, she actually revived. But if we get the cooldown from Licks. We could come back and do this again. I really should take this over on manual. I really, really should. But it, look, it, look at this. This is working out good. 
We just tore into him with that that three hit AOE against a Torvin and a Duchess. This is not bad for Otto. Now nah, Manuel, look at look at him. Look at he does hit. He does hit. He got the revive. He brought his partner back. So here we go. Now we just need to tear her through. She's got weakened down. We need defense down right here. Didn't get it. But we did. Well, okay. That's a lot of damage. That's a fun team. See, I was talking the other day about arena. It's time to get into arena. Build arena teams and have some fun. All right, here comes the Nether Spider. We're on. It's only floor 20, but this is on hard. Uh, I'll try it when I get to 80 or 90, and I'm pretty sure it'll probably be the same outcome. Rector Draft brings that resist uh, aura. We've got revives, revives. We've got heals, heals, cleanses, self cleansing between the two, and tons of A1s. We're just gonna put this on auto. It shouldn't take 15 seconds to get through these waves, so we won't even worry about skipping it. We've got these big AOEs coming out. So we'll push through these and uh, I will speed this up when we get in there, but watch, I mean, you know, and, and there's going to be some falls and some revives, but this is going to be a pretty amazing run. Hope you enjoy it and uh, well, watch the show.
there you go. Absolutely crushed my last time. Like, crushed it. Uh, I was almost 12 minutes. Uh, so them being my only source of damage with War Master, I'm glad I made the switch. Uh, absolutely just can i have three amazing supports any three good supports you have there i mean there's even better i mean you can bring reliquary tender you can bring arbiter but uh you know you do want a cleanser uh doom priest only cleanses one but they self cleanse each other uh, every time lix gets a turn absolutely amazing team if you got them if you have either one of them you're very lucky but if you have both absolutely congratulations to you so uh We'll get out of here, and I'll continue pushing on hard mode now and uh, see what they do further on, if they can make it with just three support champs. Absolutely an amazing pair. If you got them, congratulations. And uh, hopefully this wasn't too long. Thanks for sitting through it. I'll take any support you'll give me. Just sub. All you got to do is free. Just click the sub button. Hit the like button. Leave me some comments. You got any questions? Maybe you have advice? Leave it for me and the rest of the community. We, we'll love it. We love to hear from all the big brains out there. Uh, thanks for being a part of my channel. Until next time, enjoy the grind.